So uh, let's move into the Big 12 right quick. And, brother, is the Gundy gang actually good? Like, yes. are we? Are we? Did, it, didn't we say that before the season started? And so we, well, here. So 32 24, Oklahoma State gets the win over Texas. I, I still don't know what to make of it because if Texas had not shot themselves in the foot time after time after time, there was a point in this game where they could have been up like 35 to 10. Like they, they gave points to Oklahoma State that kept them in the ball game and shot themselves in the foot and cost themselves points. I, this, I don't know. Like I don't, I don't think Texas. You and I just see football differently all the time. Okay, all the time because you never give the other team credit for doing something. No, so but Oklahoma I'm talking State about didn't penalties. Take those points. Oklahoma State didn't take those points. I didn't talking, cause those mistakes. It, it, so, so okay, maybe we do a little bit because I look at it because you all you always see it as one team is supposed to be good. So if anything good happens to the team that's not supposed to be as good, then they just got lucky. The other team just gave it away. You you have this hierarchy of who's supposed to be good and who's not all the time. And it drives me insane. You don't ever give the other team credit for taking the ball away, for for stop making the stops, for making the big defensive plays, for putting the pressure on them, for for taking advantage of the mistakes the other team has. How in the world is Oklahoma State anything but one of the most exciting and great teams right now? They played a gauntlet. Okay. They went to Boise. That's a tough place to play. It is. They it came is. away with the win. Do they look impressive all the time? No. Are they getting wins every week and some of them now racking up against good teams? That's absolutely. True. Look at that Baylor win. That's a hell of a damn win. No, it's it's absolutely uh, a hell of a win. Absolutely. Uh, Larry jumped in, said pick six was the turn. Easy pick six was almost a gift. It's not just the pick six. It's the penalties on the drives that extend the drives that would have been stopped. It's different things along those lines, right? It's it's the offense just making bad throws. Casey Thompson did not look good in this ballgame. Uh, a lot of that is the defense, yes. And I, I have given say, them credit. This is the first time but, he's played a good defense since. Well, he's played a good defense the entire year. That's it, because he wasn't the starter against Arkansas. But that's it. When Imagine that. He's looked amazing when they play teams that don't play defense. That's incredible. That's awesome. Yeah. When they play somebody who actually hits you in the face – he crumbled. It's uh, it, so so. I will tell you this: Oklahoma State kind of wore them out uh, throughout the game. They ran for like 150 yards in the fourth quarter. I Isn't mean, that just what this team does dominate. now? Yeah, it, it yeah, it kind of is. It is so strange. Like this they is built this team like an SEC football team. Yes, an old school SEC football team. Yes, it is unreal. Spencer Sanders did not make the crippling interception that that sometimes he is known to make. He, he looked good. He just stayed within himself, didn't do anything crazy. The coaching staff, credit to them, did not ask him to do anything that he could not do. And and that is the sign of a great coaching staff and a and really, want, and really good football there's, team. There's no reason they shouldn't look great the rest of the season because there's not a great defense they're going to play left on the schedule. There's not a team where defensively they should give this offense any problems at all. I Well, I mean, they still got to play Iowa State next week. In aim. I don't think Iowa State's defense is that great, by the way. Really? No. I think they're good. I don't think they're great. Yeah, I don't okay. think they're better than Baylor's defense. I yeah, I could I could maybe side with that. So they've got Iowa State, they've got Kansas at West Virginia, TCU, Texas Tech, and then of course Bedlam on the last weekend, November twenty seventh. N- none of those defenses scare me. I no, think same. this offense won't make mistakes to cost them games. So if their defense can play as good as they have, all those games are winnable. I don't think they will win all of them. I think all those games are winnable. Yes, I, I do agree with you. I think I think at this point in the season, they were number 12. I, I think I think they're moving up. I think they're going to be a yeah, top 10 team. Well, so I'm, not a top 10 team. You think they'll move up two points because they're still undefeated? They just won an all-star. No, I'm, I'm yeah, thinking, they're going to move up. I'm thinking, you know, eight, seven. I mean, they, they deserve to be way up there. Can you uh, not justify them being in the top five? I think I probably name could. five. Te- name five teams that have a better resume than them. I can't. I can't find one. They they got to win over Kansas State, Boise, uh, Baylor, Texas. I mean, they they just beat three top twenty five teams in a row. Yep. And and that doesn't not, include Boise. Not another team has them. I'm not saying make a number one in the country, but not an, if you can't get them to the top five, the whole ranking system's bullshit. Because what are we doing? What are we doing? 
Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com, and if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter, at GaryWCE, at ChrisBGiannini, at Winning Cures, or you can email us, Gary at winningcureseverything.com, or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.